Chair recognizes the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan. For Thank five. you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Rosenstein, why are you keeping information from Congress? Congressman, I am not keeping any information from Congress that it's appropriate. In a few for minutes, Mr. Close. Rosenstein, I think the House of Representatives is going to say something different. I don't agree with you, Congressman. I don't believe that's what they're going to say. And if they do, they'll I be mistaken. I disagree, but I think, I think in a few minutes, the House of Representatives is going to go on record saying you haven't complied with request from a separate and equal branch of government, that you haven't complied with subpoenas, and you got seven days to get your act together. I think that's what's going to happen in a few. And that's just not, that's not Jim Jordan. I think that's the house. I think that's a majority of the House of Representatives. In just a few minutes, I think that's going to happen. And I want to know why you won't give us what we've asked for. Sir, I certainly hope that the, your colleagues are not under that impression. Uh, that is not accurate, sir. And you it is accurate. We have caught you hiding Mr. Chairman, can we Mr. allow Rosenstein. the witness to answer? Mr. Chairman, point of order. We can go to Mr. Jordan's press conference and listen to him, but we came here to hear from the, the witness. The time belongs to the gentleman. Mr. Rosenstein. Can we allow him to answer? We have he caught you hiding information. We allow him to answer. He will be permitted I to answer, answer when Jordan. Mr. Jordan. Why do we have yeah. them here? We'll allow him additional time Rosenstein. to answer. Why are they not allowed to answer? The gentleman is out of order. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Mr. Rose, let me make this one point, then I'll let yes, you Mr. answer. Jordan, I'd like let me, to let me make this one point sir. where we've caught you hiding information, sir? then you can answer. Why did you hide the fact that Peter Strzok and Judge Contreras were friends? Why did you redact that in the documents you gave to us? Peter, I mean, Judge Contreras is kind of important. FISA court judge, more importantly, just as importantly, the judge that uh, heard Mike Flynn's case. Why did you try to hide that from us? Mr. Jordan, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to respond. I've heard you make those sort of allegations publicly on TV. It's, I got the, and, and I if you let right me respond, sir. Mr. Chairman, he should be given <laughs> right the here. opportunity. Now, Mr. Jordan, answer. it's redacted. I am the Deputy Attorney General of the United States. Okay? I'm not the person doing the redacting. I'm responsible for responding to your concerns as I have. I have a team with me, sir. It's just a fraction of the team that's doing this work. And whenever you brought issues to my attention, I have taken appropriate steps to remedy them. So your statement that I'm personally keeping information from you, trying to conceal information You're from the boss, people, Mr. Rosenstein. That's correct. And my job is to make sure that we respond to your concerns. We have, sir. Now, I've appointed Mr. Lausch, who is managing that production. And my understanding is it's actually going very well, sir. So I appreciate your concerns. Again, I think so the House of Representatives is going to say otherwise. But your use of this to attack me personally Why did you is you wrong. Personal. Point of Chairman, order, Mr. Chairman, Chairman, may the witness be permitted it's to not, answer the it's question? It's not personal. Proposed. The gentleman will suspend. The witness is going to have an opportunity to say whatever he wants at the end of Mr. Jordan's five minutes. Until the it is end not of those personal. five minutes, they're his time. I appreciate your service. It's not personal. We just want the information. Why did you tell Peter Strzok not to enter our questions yesterday? When I asked, when I asked Peter Strzok if he'd ever communicated with Glenn Simpson... He gave us the answer he gave us dozens of times. On advice of FBI counsel, I can't answer that question. Why couldn't he answer that question? Mr. Jordan, I appreciate your sincere concerns, but I didn't give Peter Strzok any instructions. If there was some problem with the instructions he had, I'll be happy to look not into what, it. Not what his you FBI lawyer said. Mr. Jordan, it, it, when, when you find some problem with a production or with questions, it doesn't mean that I'm personally trying to conceal something from you. It means we're running an organization that's trying to follow the rules, and we're going to respond. You know what was interesting? When I asked him if he'd ever talked to Bruce Orr, he said he had. He said he had three times in 2016 and 2017. Then I asked him, have you ever talked to Nellie Orr? And he said, no, I haven't. I said, well, why can you answer that question? Because Nellie Orr worked for Glenn Simpson, worked for Fusion. He could answer that question, but he couldn't answer because FBI counsel told him he couldn't. He couldn't answer the question whether he'd ever communicated with Glenn Simpson, a journalist. Why couldn't he answer that question? Mr. Jordan, I appreciate your saying it isn't personal. Sometimes it feels that way. How do I know, sir? I mean, I, you interviewed Mr. Strzok. I didn't, uh, so I can't Works answer. for you. Doesn't work for us. Uh, there are 115,000 people who work for me, sir. Mr. Rosenstein, did you threaten staffers on the House Intelligence Committee? Media reports indicate you did. Media reports are mistaken. Sometimes. But this is what they said. Having the nation's number one law enforcement officer threaten to subpoena your calls and emails is downright chilling. Did you threaten to subpoena their calls and emails? No, sir, and there's no way to subpoena phone calls. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm reading what the press said. I'm reading well, what the I, press said. I would said. suggest that you not rely on what the press says, sir. Well, I didn't ask if there's no way to do it. I asked if you said it. If I said what? What I just read you. No, I did not. Well, now, who are we supposed to believe? Staff members who we've worked with, who've never misled us, or you guys, who we've caught hiding information from us, who tell a witness not to answer our questions. Who are we supposed to believe? Thank you for making clear it's not personal, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> well, I, I didn't, I'm saying the you Department of Justice. You should believe me because I'm telling the truth and I'm under oath. 
And if you want to put somebody else under oath and they have something different. I know these you know, staff members. Respond. Here, here's, here's my last question. What's so important that you know that you don't want us to know, that you won't give us the documents we're asking for, that the House of Representatives is about ready to go on record saying you should give us? What's so darn important that you will threaten members, at least according to media reports and according to the staff members, threaten members? inquiry, Mr. Chairman. What is so important, Mr. Rosenstein? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. This is not an appropriate time for a parliamentary inquiry. In point of order, uh, the gentleman keeps representing that the House of Representatives, yes, it will be, the Republicans who continue it's to... Not a, that is not an appropriate point of order. Well, he, he the, needs to be correct in his time, statement. The time of the gentleman... The gentleman will be, be the members of the Republican the, Party. The gentleman will suspend. The time of the gentleman from... Ohio will be uh, restored for an additional 15 seconds, and then the Deputy Attorney General will be re re Mr. allowed to respond. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Rothstein, I, I, Mr. Ray, I do appreciate your work, but I'd also appreciate if the House of Representatives could get the information. We have repeatedly, Mr. Gowdy talked about how long this investigation is going on, how long there's been a special counsel. We started asking for information in July of last year. And some of that is still not given, still has not been given to the Congress, still not has been given to this committee, the committee charged with defending the, the Judiciary Committee. So I appreciate what you do. I just want the information. And we're so frustrated that there is now a resolution on the floor of the House in just a few minutes that will be voted on. Yeah, Time Mr. of the gentleman Jordan, has expired. Uh, Mr. Rosenstein will oh, be allowed to respond. I don't have any control over what resolutions you vote on, sir. And I know you don't. To do that, but the gentleman will suspend it. If the time now is the Attorney the General's. If you're interested in the truth, Mr. Jordan, the truth is we have a team of folks, they're Trump appointees and career folks, and they're doing their best to produce these documents. Director Ray explained to you the process. He's got hundreds of people working around the clock trying to satisfy these requests. So whether you vote or not is not going to affect it. You're going to get everything that's relevant that we can find and produce to you. I, I support this report, sir. I'm not trying to hide anything from you.